and I just felt like New York was the option for me because they always say if you're not sure what major you want to do just go to New York and explore. My name is Shem Al-Khwiri. I'm from the United Arab Emirates, born and raised in Abu Dhabi. I study computer science with a minor in interactive media at New York University Abu Dhabi. Hello, my name is Boudour El Youssef. Uh, I am a student at NYU Abu Dhabi, majoring in bioengineering, born and raised in Dubai. To be quite frank, it was not a passion I had when I was young. I love biology and my father was an engineer, so it kind of set an inspiration for me to go for that field. Upon our admission, we were enrolled in the academic enrichment program and we were both in the same program but in different classes. My traits and her traits balance each other out. Because she's an introvert and I was an extrovert, so we both took a bit from each other. I became less and she became a bit more. Emirati women have always been a great part of the society. They have always been very important in keeping the society together. It fills us with pride to be able to represent them. Don't let anyone else define the definition of what a woman you can be. For example, in the computer science major, there's always this myth and misconception that I get that computer science is not feminine. Or that, okay, girls are, shouldn't be into math and problem solving. And that's such a misconception and a misbelief that we're only seeing progress for the amount of women that's entering the STEM majors. And I think a big part of that comes from the government of the UAE encouraging us in terms of uh, raising awareness and giving, giving us scholarships and always being there. When you enter the field of STEM as a woman, most of your classes are going to be male dominated. So yeah. it's not like you have much female friends to support on. Most of your groups are going to be with males. But then you learn to adapt and be more resilient towards that. For me personally, I enjoy working in the labs. Like every time I learn something new about the human body, I get so excited to tell anyone about it. For my senior project, I'm gonna be working on building a morphological analyzer, basically for the Arabic Gulf dialect. I'll be working more with natural language processing, which is a subfield of artificial intelligence. So this is what I wish to pursue after university. We want to advocate for more women in STEM, I would yeah. say. Another woman entering STEM is a strong example for the other to want to pursue it. New York is a busy city. You wake up to the sound of an ambulance, to the sound of a police car. <laughs> it kind of makes you feel like you're in the moment, like you're always grasping something around you. I think my favorite part is how people are very social. And one of the most fascinating things is there is a lot of diversity here in New York, especially in my classes. I got to meet people from many different countries and I got to know about their culture and their lifelong friends, I would say. People are always open to knowing about the Emirati culture and the Arab world in general because there are so many misconceptions about it and it's always interesting to see the reactions when mm -hmm. you actually tell them, the you truth. show them. I learned that what brings us together is our humanity and our differences does not bind us, it just makes us understand who we are more. A Marathi Women's Day means to me that it is a chance for us to celebrate our achievements, to celebrate how far we've come and how far we can go in the future. Emirati Women's Day to me means to empower and motivate women all across the world. It's a chance to highlight the role Emirati women play and to honor their remarkable achievements and contributions in building the future of the nation. It's a day to celebrate them and recognize them, I would say.